Hello and welcome to another Idea Space Craft Along with the Public Library of Brookline. My name is Christy and I'm a Reference and Technology Librarian at the Brookline Village Library. And I'm here today in our Idea Space to show you all how to make your own abstract watercolor painting. Let's get started. Is this your first Public Library of Brookline to-go program? Here's how it works. Each to-go kit comes complete with everything you need to follow along with an awesome DIY project and video or written instructions created by one of your local librarians. The best part? Absolutely no due dates. You can keep everything included in your kit. Visit brklib.com events to find out what and when our next project will be. Today's project will take most makers about 30 minutes to complete, plus a few hours of drawing time. Here's what you'll find inside this month's kit. One watercolor canvas, one bag watercolor tissue, one spray bottle, one paintbrush, and one white crayon. From home, you might also want a pencil and some washi or masking tape. Take a moment to gather your materials and then we'll get started. To get started, think about the composition you'd like for your painting. If you'd like, you can use the white crayon in your kit or some washi or masking tape to make designs on your canvas. Wherever you draw with crayon or mark with masking tape will stay white when you paint your canvas. If you'd like to create a more detailed drawing or spell a word, you can draw in pencil first, then erase the marks till they're very faint and trace over them with the white crayon. I'll do a few canvases in this video so you can get a sense for the effects achieved by each method. If you'd like, you can also do a different painting on each side of your canvas. Once you've finished preparing your canvas, open up your bag of watercolor tissue and experiment with some of the shapes and colors until you find some you like. Keep in mind that whatever colors you choose will bleed into each other once we add water. So mixing too many different colors might result in a muddied effect. When you're ready to put color on your canvas, fill your spray bottle with some tap water. Spritz the surface of your canvas with a bit of water, then begin layering on pieces of watercolor tissue. You can encourage more bleeding of colors by spraying additional water on top of the tissue pieces, or by using your paintbrush to spread the pigment manually. You can also experiment with folding or tearing pieces of the tissue for different shapes and effects. Once you're happy with your color composition, place your canvas aside to dry, leaving the tissue in place for now. When your canvas is mostly or fully dry, carefully remove the watercolor tissue one piece at a time to reveal your painting. If you'd like to add more color to your painting, just add a little more water and repeat the process from step three once again now. Once you're happy with your colors, carefully peel off any masking or washi tape you used and let your canvas finish drying before displaying your abstract art. Thank you all so much for crafting with us today. We would love to see what you made with your kit, so please feel free to share your project with us on social media at BRKLIB using the hashtag MakeYourOwnStory. The Craft Along program is generously sponsored by the friends of the Brookline Public Library. From all of us here at the library, we wish you very happy making. Bye-bye.